Hi, this is Nikki and I'm here to share messages that I get from spirit for all of us who are all on this journey to love and to reunite with our divine vibrational matches in this lifetime. And uh, today is all about number 52. Um, 52 has been a number that's been following me around everywhere. Five and two is number seven. Seven is the number of the soul. And we are all on this soul path together. And so the mantra is, you are my dream and I am the maker of our dreams coming true. You are my dream and I am the maker of our dreams coming true. And um, I have just been, 52 has been following me around everywhere. And then I was uh, watching a documentary about this guy who was running an ultra marathon uh, in America, the Moab 240 which is an insane 240 mile um run and it, it's incredible through the desert and it's just like amazing anyway and sure enough when he turned around his number was 52 and i was like oh, of course it was gonna be and um so i knew that 52 is the number the number of the soul journey and these connections are here to push you beyond your limits, you know, and that's to uh, break you to be more and more of the person that you're meant to be. And just like in this ultra marathon, I mean, it's so I mean, obviously, the pain is is on a different level because it's a physical pain in an ultra marathon rather than a, you know, uh, on these uh, for those who are on this twin flame path, it's like a it's like a painful process of uh, becoming the butterfly. But uh, when you spread your wings and fly, then those moments that you can really, really let yourself go, then they are incredible. So, uh, so many similarities on a completely different way. But um, yeah, it's, it's an amazing thing. So, and yesterday, very symbolically, <laughs> Uh, my neighbor's wall fell down and so uh, I helped them carry all the bricks round because they've got a really old wall and basically the pressure just got too much and the wall fell down and then later on that day so I was helping them clear, clear away the wall <laughs> and so and then later that day my twin contacted me and so it was just like, oh, yeah, the walls are coming down or, you know, in that moment, in that day, you know, there was like a break in the energy because it had reached pressure point. So um, it was very symbolic. So, you know, who, again, the universe brings us little messages in amazing ways. And this morning as well, there was incredible grandmother energy is around us, supporting us. Um, I sat down to have a cup of tea and it was so amazing. I looked out the window and my grandmother's reflection was reflecting back at me out of a tree. And uh, it was so magic. And it was just the way the sun was. Um, uh, basically, there was a picture of my grandmother and uh, who died a couple of years ago. And uh, her picture, just the way the sun was catching the light, um, reflected back. So where I was looking was into a tree through the kitchen window. And there, right in the middle of the tree, was my grandmother's face looking back at me. And it was just magic. And, uh, you know, these things just to remind us that, you know, our past people are all around us looking after us. And so trust, trust, trust that, you know, there is so much support around for you to live your highest soul truth. So 52 is, I want you to know that there is nothing that you could do to push our love away or delay our union or change our destiny. You have to know that this is real. Love is the only reality that you need to focus your attention to. Everything else is just absolute BS. Really, really, really believe that. I can't tell you how difficult it's been dealing with this unease inside. The feelings of not being worthy, not being able to express how I really feel, and then letting, getting really annoyed with myself for the way I've handled everything. It's been hell. Literally a self-imposed hell, but I can see the light at the end of the tunnel, and it's you who is holding out the lamp for me to take. Together we will shine our light bright, like a mega watt bulb, bringing light to the darkest of tunnels. That's why I want you to know that that is our truth, that is our task, that is our thing to give back to each other. 
our hearts guiding us home wow so uh, i'm sure there has been lots of like magical synchronicities for everyone and songs and messages and spirit you know just everywhere so i want you to know that my hand is holding yours every step of the way we are guiding each other to be who we truly are meant to be to be and fulfill our purpose to fulfill what we agreed to complete this time around our contract to each other when we came down believe in our love our mission our journey together a beautiful love story which is unfolding in perfect divine order know that our journey back to each other is already written it is already mapped out for us we agreed it together a pact we made with one another to find true love and to keep going keep guiding each other into the light wow so keep going into the light keep remembering that this is a path that your soul has chosen and uh, is to break you open so you have nothing to worry about i am a definite i'm a sure thing like the safest bet you could possibly make i know that it might seem like a million miles away but it really isn't anything is possible dreams really do come true oh there you go there's the synchronicity with the mantra so have faith trust in our love trust that there is so much support bringing us all home Imagine a four-lane traffic queue full of cars, all trying to get to their destination, but they're all stuck because of a big gate. Well, we're one of those cars, but the gate will be opened and we will all pass through in divine timing. So I'm going to finish by the mantra, you are my dream and I am the maker of our dreams coming true repeat 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 what a beautiful message to get so crazy that they are so in sync with each other everything is all super connected as always i'm going to finish by putting an animal spirit animal what do we need to know to help us grasshopper spirit take that leap of faith look at that it's number 30 number 30 was the letter yesterday <laughs> number 30 was the story that i was telling a true story about a guy um who again went for his dream um football player soccer player in his mid 30s and he thought i need to go go on and do it now otherwise I will always regret not following my dream and he has just become a professional footballer at the age of 34, which is old for a footballer. So this is perfectly in sync with yesterday's message. So the message is this, right now you are poised to jump into the next level of your life and move forward into something even better than you could ever have imagined. When Grasshopper Spirit appears, it is... A, a fortuitous time to take a leap into the unknown for grasshopper spirit represents the innovative spirit that says why not and has faith in the powers of co-creation you are being called to trust that this is the right time to go with that idea relationship or situation take risks for abundance in all forms will show up for you wondrous things await when grasshopper spirit appears you are not going to go backwards so listen to your intuition rather than your fearful ego that resists any change and clings worriedly to what was. Luck is on your side. Jump up and forward with confidence for spirit has so much in store for you. If only you take that leap. Well, there you go. Squirrel Sauce Spirit is saying, take the leap, have faith, trust, trust, trust. And the universe has your back. All right, I really hope that helps. If you would like a healing, a reading, a channeling, any of my services, then all details are in the description box against this video. But in the meantime, I hope you stay well, stay bright, and stay switched on to the light. See ya.